Good day guys, Austin here, and in this one today, what we're going to be doing is sorting out our controls on the Citra emulator. Now for those of you who don't know, the Citra emulator is a 3DS emulator that allows us to play our 3DS games on our PC. Now, as standard, when utilizing the official build at this moment in time, controller support isn't enabled. However, it is actually enabled. It's just sneaky and it makes you go through the houses to actually set up your controller. Now, what most people do is utilize third party support. In other words, they use X Padder, Joy to Key, all that kind of stuff, and they go around the houses and actually enable joystick that way. And there's no reason why you shouldn't do that, other than it's not as responsive, you haven't got the same amount of control, and it does actually give you quite a lot of lag when you're doing that kind of setup. So, enabling the, in the control controller from within the emulator itself gives all that good stuff back to us and takes away all the bad stuff. It's just a shame that at this moment it's a bit of a pain in the ass to do. But that's what I'm here for today guys. We're going to go through it all step by step. It'll take you literally five minutes to do and then from that day forth you will have controller support forever and you'll be laughing with joy. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. So before we start to set up the controls on our emulator, we all need to be singing off the same hymn sheet. You all need to have Citra obviously installed and already up and running, and you also need it to be an official build. I cannot guarantee it will work with any cracked custom builds, Chinese things, whatever these dodgy people are knocking out nowadays. You need to have the official build, and in this demo today, I'm going to be utilizing the Bleeding Edge. If you don't know how to work that, if you haven't already got it set up, then links in the description down below, and also also links to the actual Citra website where you can get it and get all kinds of information along those lines. Trust me guys, we can't move for guides on this thing around here. So first things first, in the description down below I'll give you a link, it will guide you here. Now J Fox Rocks has made this awesome little guide and what I'm going to do is shortcut it for you guys so you know what's going on. We've done all the rest of the stuff, now what we need to do is add our controller. Now at this moment X input is the way forward basically anybody that's got a 360 pad xbox one or those similar it should work for those of you using playstation 4 stuff read through this and do the you know do what is advised now for everybody else who lives in the simple world all you need to do is right click on all this stuff copy then again go to the file location where your shortcut is whatever profile it is that you've got App data local Citra is where it will send you. What you need to do now is go to local and then go to app data. Now at this point again we're going to go into roaming. Now one of them will be called Citra like we did with our little uh, user folder and within here there will be one called config. Open it up and within here there will be one called QT config not SD12 QT. So you can open this with Notepad or if you've got it enabled already, Notepad++ make things a lot easier. So I'm going to open it with Notepad++. Now once this is actually kicked in and launched up, it's a simple case of pasting over what's already there. So as you can see, the controls at the moment are giving it keyboard commands. What we are going to do is override this with joystick commands. So click on there so it's highlighted everything from C stick including C stick all the way to controls right click and paste now what that will do is override all the controls with the joystick commands obviously again if you're running on the PlayStation or something similar in terms of controller then you're gonna have to follow the instructions for that I'm a Xbox user and well it's the most simple i think usually logitech and most of the mainstream controllers go down that route also so everybody or 99 percent should be safe it's just those of you with playstation ones you may have to jump through a few more hoops once that's done then press file save and that should now exit out we should be able to get to whatever game you want to play for example mario kart 7. should load up because we've already fixed it and we should also now have joystick support. So no longer do I have to use my keys, I can now use my controller. So I can completely go in game. Let's 
quickly load up a game. Come on. Full size this so you can see it properly. It's looking beautiful as well, isn't it? So at this point, you may not have a orange screen around you. I, this is my edited config. This is my profile from my 3DS and what I've been working on for a long time. So all the settings within here are to my standard. Also, like you guys now, you should be more or less the same as what I've got. And because you've enabled the controller from within the emulator, if you were to turn just a little bit, your player just turns a little tiny bit. If I was to swing round, the player swings round. The thing is when you're using emulated controls from third party devices, you don't have that kind of impact. You get a lot of controller lag and all that kind of stuff. So using the controller enabled from within the emulator itself is a thousand times better. So that is it. That is mission complete. You guys now have a controller that you can work to its utmost on your Citra emulator. And now that it's configured, you shouldn't have to worry about it from this day forth. Absolutely awesome. Well, if you are stuck with any of the other stuff, there is loads of links on the actual description down below that will guide you all over the Citra website. I've also got links to other tutorials down in the description which will aid you with other things that may be giving you troublesome questions. Not just on this emulator, but on others. As always, guys, it's been a pleasure bringing this here. Please put in the comments down below if you would like me to cover any more of the details, if you'd like me to cover any other emulators or anything in general or if you just want to chit chat whatever you want anyway it's been a pleasure please like please subscribe please do all the things that you would do in this wild world of citra where we can play zelda on our pcs awesome <laughs> but most of all most of all you have a good day laters